All right, this is Kenny Johnson, Bull Wrestling, head coach of Black House MMA. And we're coming off of a, a fantastic 2014 uh, with, you know, capping it off as Lyoto, a huge win, you know, getting back on track and looking forward to 2015, uh, you know, looking forward to getting his next fight set and hopefully a fight or two away from fighting for that belt again. Uh, 2015 also has the return of Anderson Silva fighting Nick Diaz over Super Bowl weekend. Everybody, I don't know one person who MMA in the world that's not excited to see the return of the Spider, and that's coming off of that, you know, the the, the loss uh, when he broke his leg. So we're real excited to have him come back. Been training really hard, rehabbed up real well, and so fighting a you know a huge opponent. So it's a big fight. You know, coming off also 2014, we had uh, the RFA. We had a lot of guys fighting the RFA, and we had a lot of guys signed to the UFC. You know, James Muntasiri, uh, Kevin Casey, uh, Justine Keish. You know, Pedro Munoz, who's already been in the UFC, uh, they're all coming off of wins, coming in 2015, looking to, per, you know, to further that. We have a new crop of athletes coming in. Mehdi Baghdad, that just won the belt for the RFA. We have Khalil, um, he just knocked his guy out, vicious knockout, and hopefully, you know, a, a fight or two away from the title in the RFA and possibly closer to the UFC. Uh, come far overseas with Ahmed Mackey. You know, we had our uh, Desert Force in Saudi Arabia. So Black House athletes are going international, and not only in UFC, Bellator. You know, we had Bruno Fazzato in, in RFA. We had uh, Johnny Faria in, in Bellator. I mean, we're having our guys come up and train, starting from whether they're amateurs and making it to the Bellator UFC. It's exciting. You know, and not only that, you know, Ed and Joanna decided to pry the wallet open, and. Uh, expand black house so the regular black house you always see because mike lee is taking all his wonderful pictures now it's a lot bigger more mat space we have a whole crossfit area so we do our strength and conditioning here uh you know we're able to add more quality athletes in and and, and push the training to another level uh, also towards the end of the year we had daniel vahal came in and started uh, as the resident uh, head Muay Thai coach, which I think is going to change a lot of people's games. He's working really closely with, with Mehdi, um, with, with the whole team, and also with Lyoto very well. So he's, he's now making the transition of coming in, working with the team, then pulling each individual. We have also have Tariq Safadine that's going to be you know, training out here as well, and a host of other people. But it's really exciting because you know, for a number of years, we've had... Uh, uh, a, a group of people like Anderson, Lioto, Noguera, you know, and some other guys coming in and out that wrestled or, or fought for Black House. But over the last couple of years, we've actually developed talent, probably about 10 to 15 people coming through our gym that started here that are now into the big leagues, like, you know, Bellator, a lot into UFC, and a lot of them going through, through RFA. You know, Ed's Project Riza, you know, president of RFA, and he's, we're, as a feeder program in the UFC, we're having a lot of our guys coming through training having success at the different local and regional levels, hitting RFA, which is one of the number one, you know, fight leagues in the world, you know, a f good feeder program to the UFC, which is obviously the greatest, you know, fight league in, in, in the world. And it's very exciting to see our people that have been here raise the bar and having new people come in. So capped off 2014 perfectly. 2015, we're gonna, we're hosting it in. And, uh, you know, the spider returns end of the month, and next month we have um, James Wintosri is fighting in Denver. We have Alan Joban, who's coming in, coming off of, uh, you know, a, a hard, a tough loss, and off his uh, first fight in UFC, knockout of the night. So, man, I can't tell you how excited I am, not only to, to see everyone fight, but to watch everyone train every day and watch everyone's growth, and especially in the new Black House. Same location, new location, all at the same time. So, it's very exciting.